Hey, what is up? I'm back. I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play on Modern America V2. As you can see, um, I have edited the map where I'll run out this way a little bit. I've edited it and took the fences off. Um, I believe there's no fences along this line in the original one either. It's up here. The fences should be taken off, actually. They might be on it. I don't know. Let me run up here real quick, though. Now, like I left the, um, uh, what do you call it, the cattle fence. Um, and I took the field fences off. Yeah. Okay. So there's no field fences, um, because I just, they just get in the way, in my opinion. And this is gonna be my starting equipment. It's gonna go over it real quick what we have and kind of what we're starting with i do have four hundred thousand, but if you notice we're also missing a cedar and a cultivator and possibly a plow and a corn header for the corn so we're going with the um oops the uh what do you call this thing again the highway boy is what they're calling it it's an older model forward i believe it's a 68 no it's 72 the 72 model Ford. Then we're going with the Bullnose Kenworth. I'm trying to kind of keep some older equipment, you know, that way we're not starting off just really big. But it's the Bullnose. And then we have the New Holland a TM150, the 950 STS John Deere with its header. And then we have two JNM Seed Grain uh, Gravity Wagons. And, oh, what do you call it? The header trailer. The Mac dump. And the six, 6210R John Deere. So we have quite, you know, nice stuff. And we're going to get started with um, this dude right here over on the field over there. So let's go ahead and. Wrong one. Go ahead and get him hooked up and ready to go. This this uh, map is multi fruit, by the way, too. So we will do um, some multi fruits, mostly just the grained multi fruits, though. Like, I won't be doing any, um, of the other fruits, just, I mean, I just don't really like doing them. They get to be a pain. Even with the multi-fruit mod, they get to be a pain. I mean, multi-fruit mod covers most of your, um, your grains. So let's go get this field right here set up. I am going to course play this field. That field is one. See your quick no, it's so nice. I'm gonna course by the fields. Where am I at? Here we go. This is field nine. We will be in the south uh, east. Heading north. I want to do two headlands. And let me save this course real quick. Field 9, 12 meter, headland 2. And I might start harvesting it myself um, later on. But for now, while I get the grain cart and everything else set up. Yeah, the one thing about this gun mine is it accelerates really quick. But it's a nice old, uh, it's actually the nicest. Quit, 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 quit. It's the nicest, um. Oh, uh, what do you call it? Like the 97, 97. Uh, well, this kind of style combine that I found. And then we will go ahead and get our grain wagon set up. And 
this is going to be interesting backing these things up and getting them hooked together. Once I get these things hooked together, I never unhook them. I just, I cannot back these right here up. Be interesting seeing if I can get this thing right here backed up. It's the old fashioned way. I can just kind of push against the green card a little bit. I'm just kind of slide it on back there. Hey. <laughs> I found the new way I'm backing these up. Okay, we'll go ahead and get his combine. He's going to be going after set up. It'll be just as easy. That, that is one thing I do not like about the map is here a little bit. I'll show y'all. Start course. Is the uh, grain bins. It makes a. Uh, I don't know what to talk. Some kind of noise, like like the dryers or something are going off, and I just I don't like it. It just gets annoying. And that door, like once it opens up, it's not closing. It's not closing until you restart the map. Let me see, like you can hear it, like the dryers or something are going off. Just kind of on. I mean, it's pretty sweet other than that. So, uh, I just take fences off because you know, I'm using course play. I don't particularly like to. Have it on when I'm using fourth playing things. Field nine grain and load. Hey, go ahead, and of course. And he'll go get the combine and we can park our other equipment for right now. I wish I could find like just a stock version of this truck, like without you know the. Um, lot bar or rollover. I believe it's lot bar. Yeah, lot bar. Um, and, you know, lift it up with the orange rims and things. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be a good place to put this air trailer. I think there is a stock white one somewhere. Uh, but. Like, I've seen pictures of it, but I just never really f have found it. Okay, that is not straight. Let's do that again. But, uh, hopefully we'll get enough money up that we can get a corn editor. I mean, we have enough money right now, but the problem is we still gotta get a cedar once everything's done. Um... So, I mean, I can definitely go 
Or I could definitely go and get a cedar that we need or something. Alright, or like a cheaper one than say the Bedrugal or something like that. Or the Big John Deere cedar. Like I could do that. And that might be what I do and buy another combine to get that cornfield over there. Because I could buy another 9, uh, S, nine 7, the uh, 9 7, that, another one of the combines. I can't ever think of his name. Actually, I'll tell. I won't tell you his name. Just a second here. Uh, 970, 9750. I mean, I could go get one of them, but I don't really want to. And the one thing about this uh, truck right here, too, is boy, does it guzzle some gas. But I didn't want to get, you know, like some new Peterbilt or something. Thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, start off with some older trucks and things. Let's park it right there. Let's get in the tractor. And we really don't have anything to do with you right now, do we? Alright, so let's just park you out right over here. And what I'll do is we will look at the comments. Oh, the door closes. Never mind. <laughs> so, if we go and look over here at Combines. We got this case, but it's three hundred grand, and that's just for the, um, just for the combine. There's these cat Lexions. Um. Yeah. What are we gonna use? I mean, there's not really much we can use. Oh, we got 400 grand. Okay, so I'm going to buy this 580R and get this right here. And then we got to go get that and transport it. I still should be able to cedars to maybe get that John Deere. I should still get have enough money to get cedar, but I need to go pick it up. Run the deal. So where is it at here? There's Trail Tech. So while it's harvesting, I'll go pick it up. And, um, we will need a tipper. I might just use this truck. I mean, I'll either use the truck or I'll buy another tipper. And we'll have to drive the tractor up there if I get another tipper. Okay, let's go. Drop down to the creek here. And there are some really big fields in this map. I mean, some huge fields.
I mean, you just look at that field. It is pretty big. And there are other farms. You idiots. Pull out in front of me. My golly. I'll tell you what. Yeah. One second. Let me show this sucker what for here. And you go off the road. I'm just gonna pass this curve. Shall we? It does look a lot cooler with the fences, but they get in the way. I wish they were not in collision, honestly. Like, that would be cool if you do, like, a collision map and then a non-collision version. Like, because East River, West River, uh, South Dakota's like that. Now, I hope this thing can actually haul this, because... I mean, it is one of Duke's trucks, which I'm pretty sure it weighed all the way out. Almost ready. Okay. Let's get Lexi on. Oh dang, that's gonna be tight trying to hook up with that header. I would prefer not to hit the trailer. Yeah, I still have to try a little bit though. Should definitely close now. Yeah, okay, good. Let's go ahead and take this combine back on down there. Well, I was pulling it pretty good. I mean, eventually, we'll probably never sell it because, I mean, it's not worth selling. I asked God, he was like, you know, I might give you $2,500 for it. So we'll probably just keep it as a little grain truck or, you know, I could go, I'll go get her when we need something. But it's not the ideal trick I want to haul stuff with, but it's what we have, so it's what we're going to use. <laughs> it says 2012, 2011 now. And I mean, just look at how fast it moves fuel. But you know, it's an old truck, so it's supposed to be. <laughs> Go unload it. I think we're just gonna park it right here for now. 
We'll check the combine. That's why y'all haven't said anything. Like, too full. Oh. I know why, too. I always forget about this combine that he has to be pulled out to nine meters. So I'll get this thing set back up and then I probably will see. Okay. So I will see y'all guys next time on Modern America Farming V2.